<laughs> so yes. basically, you were on the merits and advantages mm. of sheep rearing. Sheep rearing, yes. Within my home. Yes. So here, uh, I have what we call a byproduct of sheep. That yes. is their excretion products. Wow. When you look at this, this is actually sheep dung. Yes. Sheep dung is more fertile in animal, in a plant kingdom. Yes. So when you are doing vast agricultural sectors, for example, uh, vegetable growing, maybe cereal planting and etc. The most important thing is organic fertilizer. Yes. Nowadays in Africa, we don't encourage uh, factory made fertilizer because mm -hmm. we feel it's, it does not, doesn't produce really good, good results. So organic farming, uh, we deal with dung, cow dung. This one helps in uh, the nutrition of the soil. Yes. So back to this yellow page, mm. uh, we have got what we call the animal kingdom. Actually in the animal family, in the animal family, uh, uh, and, 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 and crop farming. Uh, in the farming family, we have got the animal kingdom. When you talk about the animal, this is humans and domestic animals that are kept at home. So, this so a human being like me, like you, and you, you with now our with the animals, yeah. the animals yes. constitute what we call the animal kingdom. Good. Now, when we excrete for example, when the sheep excretes sheep dung, like this one, now. like this one, yes, it goes to help the soil kingdom. Wow. Uh, this is now when when you pour the sheep dung, organic, actually the processed organic farm, uh, fertilizer, when you put the the soil kingdom, the soil eats and the soil gets what called soil nutrients. The, the worms that are good for the, for the plant yes. and etc. Those agricultural is no better. But for us, the local farmers, we know the animal kingdom helps the soil kingdom yes. to fertilize the soil so that when we plant, our plants get enough food. So after the soil kingdom, we have the plant kingdom. Wow. When the plant eats from uh, uh, fertile soil, it produces more. That is what we call the food. After the food is produced by the plant, the animal feeds on it. So wow. the cycle continues. continues. So in Africa, my message is, actually, when you throw one kingdom out of the farming family, every kingdom has died. For example, just remove the, black out the animal kingdom. The plant, has, the soil has suffered. When you blacked out the soil, the, the plant has suffered. In summary, my brothers in Africa and elsewhere in the world, uh, if we want to be healthy in the, in, the, in the domestic setup of life, like for example, basically those people who are in the village setup, setup we want to improve each and every kingdom explained in this yellow page. We want to improve on animals, start with a small few like this, this 70. Then this 70 will always produce. By the way, uh, I normally produce like, uh, in a week, I produce like one, 100, 100 kilograms of this. Of this. Wow. So wow. in 100 kilograms of this, when uh, processed well to, to, uh, to produce what you call organic fertilizer, it can serve you half an acre of the garden. So if I have like uh, 10 weeks, I must have produced like 10 bags. Mm -hmm. This 1,000 kilograms, a yes. ton of uh, sheep dung, sheep dung. which is more nutrients to the nutritious to the, to the, soil. To the soil. So brothers, uh, respect every kingdom. Put in animals at home. Produce more uh, organic uh, fertilizer that can better the soil kingdom. After our soil kingdom is better, our plant kingdom eats enough. When the plant kingdom eats enough, we have enough food. So people speak about food security, food security every time and then. There is farming elsewhere in the world. If we have not fostered, improved on these other three, we shall not have the kingdom of food in Africa. Wow, wow. So the message is every home, if you want to sustain your home, you need to have enough food. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yes. So what do you see in, in Africa right now? Let's talk about Africa. What do you see? Do we have enough food? Africa has no, no food. Why? Uh, Why do you say? Because, means... <laughs> because the, the, the man is lazy. Wow. If you're lazy, you can't plan for these kingdoms.
So guys, I hope you have really seen this. I've been really pestering to get this video to meet my brother. By the people outside there wanted. They are the ones who sent me to come to you because you have inspired very many people. So guys, my brothers and sisters outside there, please be inspired. I'm very sure this video will inspire you. Please remember to subscribe my YouTube channel, Jokea Services, and try to share this video to so many Africans, to so many people. I know of people from India, of people from US, from Canada watching us right now. And my brother, I really need you to tell these people the challenges you have such that they will be able to know. Because I know in every business we have challenges. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Actually, a challenge is something that improves your mindset to plan. So we don't fear challenges. Yes. Now here in my farm, the biggest challenge I have is poor breeds. However... Uh, being poor doesn't mean it's not really totally uh, it's yes. not really bad. Yes. Now my 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 mindset is to to purchase improved bucks. So you mean this is local? These are local breeds. Yes. So in in, in my planning, like next year to come, I am expecting to buy the big big bulky bucks <laughs> so that when they mate and fertilize my local sheep, I will produce a better quality. Ah, this is how we do it in Jokea Services. Please, if you have quality breed, this is Sam from Arrange. Teso, Sam Arin, a Ugandan from Teso, Sam. Give these people your number, by the way. Oh. If you have quality breed, connect with Sam and you will do business with him. Yeah, my number is 0776242166. Please, we need to improve this business because let me tell you the truth. Every person from this area, from this district where we are in Teso, people always come here. And now we need to improve that breed, as Sam is saying. So Sam, let's, let's continue. I know you're going to do it. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, this is local breed. Yeah. And now we hope by, by next by year. By next year, yes. I shall have improved by buying at least a bigger quality box. Yes. That can fertilize them. And I remember you told us that if you start with the uh, 50... You'll be able to have 200 plus. Plus. This. And I'm yeah. very sure with the other calculation of ours of just 100 and what? 150,000. Someone yes. will have. Uh, if it is like, for example, yes. if you have 200 heads of sheep. Yes. By 150. You'll, 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 you'll get how much? You'll, you, you'll have 30 million. 30 million. 30 million yes. Wow. Yeah. This is great, guys. This is great. Why are you suffering outside there? Yet we have resources here. Just see this. I don't know how long is this. <laughs> Actually, within next year, we are yes. going to take more video yes. to come and appraise to see whether we have improved, we have improved in, yes. in quantity and quality. Yes. So by next year, I am expecting like 150 in this. Wow. wow, yeah. wow. Yeah. And what I understand again about this venture is this sheep, when they produce it, they, they grow very fast. Let's take, for example, this one here. I wow. Wow. How many months now? This one here. This one is this one is three months. Wow! <laughs> now you can imagine when you buy a goat and a goat produces, it takes a goat another six months to be on this size, wow, a local wow, goat wow, of wow, Africa. Wow, wow. Yeah. So guys, this is very 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 serious. I have this one also. I need us to know uh, to to know all these things like that. When this you're one, starting, this one is just one month old, and some I think two days here. Yeah. Two days according to my record. Yeah. Wow. Two wow. days here. Yeah. So guys, this is a good venture. One month and two days. You can start with five, you can start with the ten. ten. At least start and do something. In this one, it needs action, I think. The most important thing, every small capital can can actually produce much. Yes. Actually, we start with the with the small and we grow big. Yes. Here I can I can actually not waste your time but drawing a focus a focus focus angle. In the focus angle, I call it the eye. It starts small. Let's say, for example, I started with, with 30. Uh, by, by October, I have 70. Now, by the time I go up to five years' time, my expectation, like I said last time, I need 500. So, 500... Heads of uh, of sheep, times times one hundred thousand. This will be fifty million. 
So if I have 500 sheep every year, every year, every year, I'll be having 50 million. Wow. Wow. Every year with a startup capital of 30 by 30. 2020, 2021 today. Yes. Guys, are you, are you seeing this? I am extremely excited, guys. Please do something. You will be able to dream like this. Dream and do it. So 50 million in a year. I'm very sure every Ugandan can do this. Every African can do this from wherever you are. Don't mind wherever you are. You can really do this. This is the dream that uh, Sam Arin has in this venture here. What about yours? Please, <laughs> let's follow this brother of ours. Thank you we so shall much. be able to do this. I thank you so much. And really, I wanted to show you where we take this. This is our uh, our ship. There are really very many. And as he told you, we shall come back and see the progress of this, uh, this venture here. But he didn't tell us where he is always taking this. Because what I really need to tell you guys, we have fish, uh, we have this uh, ship rearing here, and he talked about this ship dung. Uh, ship dung, and he's taking somewhere, by the way. He's taking somewhere. And he has so many trees, if my cameraman can show you. In fact, when you just see this hole, it is <laughs> all about trees. It is. Uh, this is like America. Actually, you can... Most people call it Eden. Ah, it, the, home the of, Garden of Eden. The Garden of Eden, the home of trees. Wow, wow, wow. Let, let's first go through and we, we show these people where, where we are going to have this manure. Then after this manure, where are we putting it? Uh, before we go, yes, I, I wanted to say that basically this year I had no, no methods of processing uh, organic fertilizer. Yes. So I had to ferry directly from the ground to my garden. Yes. Now, this time all round, I am going to improve it much better. Because here... I have actually dug, I'm beginning to, to dig a pit where I'm going to keep piling them, piling them, them until they get to into like one ton. Yes. So I am going to dig this pit as deep as two, two meter depth so that I will be pouring here the ship down, the, the dry matter, the green matter in order to form a, a organic fertilizer. After, uh, after routine, routine checks and routine uh, Turning with the hose and farm tools, I will be ferrying them directly to fertilize my gardens. Wow. Yeah. So basically here, my farm is starting small. I have their mangoes, oranges, <laughs> small, small things there. But guys, then, I hope you're seeing this. As you can see, this tree <laughs> is glittering because it's near, it's near the dam. Near the dam, yes. Yeah, that's why I opt to. To improve every tree, at least every tree should eat nutritious organic fertilizer. <laughs> this is so great. This is amazing, my brothers and sisters there. And Sam, this is so, so good. Please remember to subscribe my YouTube channel, Jokea Services, for more videos like these ones here. And I'm very sure if we do farming, then education will also change here in Africa. I always talk, share with Sam about this. Parents in Africa here are free to take their children to good schools. We are not getting quality education because of money. Because nowadays, in the money economy we are, it needs you to have money. So, can you say something about that? Money is, is actually the answer of everything. Yes. Basically, on earth, when we talk about heaven, it is faith that talks about everything. But on earth, to answer all basic needs of humanity, wow. you need to have money. If you need good health, you need money. If you need quality life, quality standards of education, it needs money. So, like I said, uh, Dino B, uh, you, you talked about the ECD, that is early childhood development in yes. Agri-Groy sub-county. Mm. For us to help a child, a parent must be must helped, helped economically. Wow. That is where we are going, guys. That's why we are putting this video such that you'll be able to get knowledge from this video. And please, when you get this, be inspired and do something. Take actions, guys. And Sam, I know we have so many things to discuss to our people outside there, but you think being in Africa, where, when we talk about Africa, what comes to your mind? I, I love the black gene. Wow. I've never admired to be somebody yellow. 
Wow. I just love to be an African. Yes. Now, when they talk of African, you live in the pearl of Africa, wow. where there's everything. All natural resources are there, but we only need to build a mindset to develop our national natural resources for betterment of the life of a man. Wow. So, guys, what we want to tell you outside there, we are not poor. You are not poor, but your brain is mindset. poor. Mindset. Change the mindset, and let's do this. Your last message to Africans again. Africans, once again, uh, thank you. For those uh, brothers who, are, who live overseas, support your fellow brothers in, 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 the, in the lower countries. Oh. In the development, development minds, education, and so many other sectors. When you are there, please think about home. That's my message. Thank you so much. I see you. Thank you. Thank you so much.